What's up, everybody? Welcome to the King's Speech Podcast after show. No, after show last week, we were a little, uh, yeah, we were little, a little low, a little upset, a little frustrated. Indeed. Uh, but we're back at you guys with another after show. It's Trev and Josh here in the building, YouTube exclusive. What's going on? Make sure you subscribe and share and do all that. Uh, so on today's after show, we are asking the question and also establishing some rules. So we're asking the question, doesn't matter if your friends, parents, or family don't like who you're dating. And also we've got some post breakup rules for guys Things that you should follow so you don't end up out here looking like a nasty simp. I think it starts with who you choose to, to, to date, right? Who you as an individual choose to date. And if you deem that person to be the love of your life, the person you believe that has the best interest for you, the person that you believe is going to support you, respectful, X, Y, and Z. Um, how your friends receive that person may not be perfect. Right, they may not love them. They may not mm-hmm. care for them the same way. You just have to be really confident in who it is that you choose. And I think with that, um, then you choose up. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, I, I value my relationship more than I value my relationship with my friends, or whatever the case is. You're gonna have to pick a side though, if that's the case. Mm-hmm. And you just have to be sure that this is something that you want to draw a line in the sand for, you know, so to speak. Because that's a it, it's tough. Do you do you want your friends to like your girl? Absolutely. Is it something that's going to happen? Could 50-50. You never know. Yeah. But should that change how you feel? Now, ultimately, if you love this person, you want to be with this person, go crazy. But just stay strong in, 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 in your belief. What's your thoughts? Uh, I think if I think if you got solid friends, um, they should be able to find a way to communicate you right. any opportunities that they feel like are in your relationship or with your girl. Like if you see my girl at the club, like twerking on niggas, right. let me know. Yeah, if your friends have like now, now if your friends have reasons, yeah, for why they don't um, like your girl, then they should have a conversation with that. You know, with which you. is why I said yeah. it's layered, right? Like if they don't like her just because she looks weird, she talks funny, looks weird. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever. Nah, that is my funny. shorty. You know what I'm saying? Like if they look at like if they look at her. For for that reason, then that's like I don't care. You'd be like, yo, I know you love her, but she looks like Tracy Morgan. <laughs> yo, and why did you leave the club with her that night? And why is she your girlfriend now? Like <laughs> that will probably be the question, right? But like the thing is, is like, so it depends on why your friends don't like her. Same thing goes with family. I think what family's a little bit more complicated because like we're gonna be around each other. And this is family; it's a little bit more connected. So I think it's important if you can get that same thing that you said. I think that's, that's the best way to put it. Respect. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, communication between communication. friends and sure. then in that relationship is really important. Uh, to me, it, I mean, I don't want to say it doesn't matter. I think it matters to all of us to a certain extent. Like you said, we want everybody to like who we date and who we choose to love. Um, we want them to see what we see in them. Yeah. You know, but then there are times where our judgment is clouded because, you know, we love them so much or because the pussy so amazing hmm. um, that they might be able to see things that we don't see. <laughs> Uh, so it's good to, you know, take that perspective and do what you will with it. But, you know, thankfully I've never been in that spot. I've never been in that spot. Yeah. Um, I would say, listen, man, I've been in that spot where like, there've been hints, like, you know, maybe you shouldn't, or uh, no, 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 is this who you really want to move? I've like, had stuff like, stuff like conversations that. of like, she's nice, but yeah, exactly. I've had those, yeah, but yeah, it's like, you know yeah. what? Like, and that's why ultimately it's up, it's, it's upon you. Cause like at the end of the day, it's the same thing when you talk to somebody about like a, a job or career you want to start. I live with my decision. It's my choice. Mm-hmm. So like my, I can tell you, I don't like the person that you're dating, but ultimately you date that person. So I, yeah. it doesn't matter what I like. Right. And yeah. that's what it comes down to. So you just have to be confident in what it is that you stand for. Indeed. And if, you know, people or your friends or family can sway your opinion then maybe you didn't feel the way you really maybe felt in the beginning maybe you're not as strong as you think you are nigga and maybe you should do some push ups and maybe she ain't that and great I should do squats too. I don't know maybe she really looked like Tracy Morgan in the light um, <laughs> oh Tracy hey. alright so next up we got some post breakup rules uh, specifically for the guys out there uh, it's an article by a guy named Ian St- Stober or Stabber I hope it's Stober because your if your last name is Stabber your childhood is tough. rough tough tough very tough. very rough uh, so first thing, Change don't do it. anything. <laughs> Just put an E at the end. Uh, don't do anything rash. Uh, sure, you're allowed to act out a little bit, 
Maybe that means buying yourself something you want, bet, booking a trip, going out more, otherwise giving yourself permission to lead a life you weren't expected, <coughs> uh, you weren't during during the relationship. Doesn't mean you shouldn't do anything you'll seriously regret, like go to the club and spend $5,000 on bottles of Hennessy and leave the club with said woman who looks like Tracy Morgan. Who's not your girlfriend and your friends don't like Who is not your girlfriend and your this friends bad cannot, cycle, stand, friends. cannot stand. Um, Because she has a, a, you know. Go ahead. I was going to say something ridiculously <laughs> offensive. Go yeah, ahead. Leave them. Don't offend them. Um, don't, do anything, don't, don't do anything rash. Uh, yeah, man. Listen. <sighs> People express things, which we have seen every single day. Their emotions and their feelings in different ways. I would say, man, just don't do anything you're going to regret. The only thing that's going to come back to bite you in the ass. The only thing that's going to smear your name. Like have a baby with somebody that looks like Tracy Morgan. Because then your kids are going to look like Tracy Morgan. They're going to have a great sense of humor. Good kids. Great kids. Amazing kids. Um, But yeah, man, you just want to stay away from amazing kids. Why are the kids so amazing? <laughs> Is it funny? Funny kids are amazing. Funny, funny kids, kids are on a uh, funny kids are on TV. Yo, what, if my, what if my kids aren't funny? That's literally a conversation I have every week. You, you don't know if your kids are going to be funny or not. It's not a guarantee, you know. Uh, what if my nigga wears? I'm gonna I, love my kid no matter what. I have I have, have a, I have a thing where I'm worried that I'm gonna be the way I am with regular people that I am with my kids. You should be worried about <laughs> you doing that. <laughs> you should be worried. About you doing that. I'm, you I'm, tell him you don't like him. <laughs> hey, not trying to talk to you today. I was like, listen, man. I don't like you today. You, listen, you man. took a shit in your pampers. I don't like you. Listen, man. I have to be here. Just don't, never mind. No, that's fucked up. But, <laughs> no, I just feel like sometimes I'm going to expect like them to potty train fast. Like, why aren't you pissing in the toilet yet? Uh, you know, I had this conversation with my girl. I think patience comes. You probably, yeah, I hope so. I hope, to God, <laughs> I hope it comes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, just don't do anything that's gonna smear your name. You ain't walking yet. Yeah, like come on, Jesus Christ, you still in this car still, seat? Yeah, I just. But then the people like will post like, enjoy the moment. They go by so quickly. <laughs> I listen. I know plenty of my friends have kids. Their moments did not go by quickly. Yeah, their moments is dragging. No, nah, when like when kids you are still two in years, his house. When kids are two years yes, old, it's that. like they're two years old for like six years. <laughs> that's how it terrible, feels. For, terrible, terrible, terrible twos years. and threes. Nah, man. Uh, I'm sure being a dad and a mom is amazing. Anyway. Shout out to moms and dads. Indeed. Uh, next one. Let yourself feel pain. This may sound counterintuitive, but it's a step that many guys avoid. Yep. As a result, it's important when experiencing emotional pain or trauma to acknowledge your sadness. Sit down with it. Chew on it. Understand what it is that you're feeling. Why it is that you're feeling. And let yourself know that, that it's okay to be feeling that way. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Like that's, I think that's key. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think we have to face our um, our emotion, embrace it, and then figure out a way to or how we're going to move out of that, how we're going to move forward. Um, but it's never okay to fester that in because what ends up happening is that you try to express it in a different way, whether it may be through a new date or a new relationship, and then the things that you've never faced will will guarantee haunt you. So face them, embrace them, um, and then learn from them and apply it to your next move. Yeah. Feel the pain. Feel it's going to hurt, but you know, if you avoid it, it's going to hurt even more down the line. Um, Show 30 years old giving out fucking gems. Yeah, of course. No, no, no. We know. Ooh, I don't, ooh, let's not, I don't want to tilt that. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I am not seasoned. I'm a rook. I don't want. I don't want to tell that season vet thing because then it makes it. Never mind. All right. So next. Uh, next up. Uh, don't start dating again right away. It's normal to seek out someone to fill that void your ex has created in the wake of a breakup. While it's tempting to download Tinder or start swiping the moment your ex is out the door, that kind of behavior runs the risk of being deeply Not unfair and un. <laughs> Yo. That's no. some wild shit. Yeah, go ahead and don't forget your drawers. That is some wild <laughs> shit. Profile love long walks on the beach. <laughs> I'm a Libra. I'm a Libra. I love candlelit dinners, a jogs in big the park. Basketball fan. <laughs> I used to get that off. What? Big basketball fan. Love hoop basketball. Oh my, life. my goodness! They Ball probably, is life. They probably had a tat on the arm. I think one of the things about not dating early is that I absolutely do not. Didn't have a ball as life tattoo on my arm. I have I have a few, but I do not have ball as life. Yo, I said that and I was like, yo, what if he has a ball 
Jones. No, 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 that's okay. That is that is a thing though. If you insult like a, like if you are talking to niggas like yo, I can't stand a nigga with a neck tattoo and he has some shit right here. Yeah, that's wild. You'll yeah, probably, that's, you'll probably get, you'll, you'll probably get a neck tattoo as well. That'll probably be a fight. You probably got a fight at that point in time. Uh, but if you start dating and you just hurt, you don't, you just don't hurt yourself. You hurt other people. You hurt other people, man. And yeah. I, and that was something I realized when I took time away from a breakup to myself. And I realized that in my past, like I had to sit there and be alone. Mm-hmm. And I never did that. I always was like, What's the, who's the next person I can talk to? Whatever, whatever. Just move on. I, I ain't worried about you. Get another one of you in a minute. Like I had that kind of mentality. <laughs> another one of you in a minute. But the thing is, is like you end up bringing that hurt to your next one. So it's best to take that time because in that time will allow you to heal properly. I got a great story about that that I'm not going to tell here that I'm going to mm. tell you later. Um, mm. Next up, uh, try to... <laughs> Try to come to terms with what happened. Uh, when you think back on a breakup, particularly if you were the one who was broken up with, it can be tempting to try to remember just the good parts. Ooh, that's that's a that's a gem. Uh, on the flip side, if you were the one who ended things, it can be tempting to paint your ex as the villain and yourself as the good guy. That is a gem as well. Indeed. Uh, when you come to terms with what happened, you accept it. Um, but when it first happens, though, like you said, like if you're the person that got broken up with, you think about the great things. If you the person that ended, you think about the bad things. I think it's important to, you know, let yourself feel that pain. Either way, don't start dating again right away, and just like sit in your shit and figure it out. That's sit it. In your shit. Absolutely. Figure it out. Don't start dating right away. Um, listen, man, take care of yourself first before you take care of others, and that's so important because in order to take care of someone else. I need to be in a position where I can take care of myself. I'm strong enough to do that. So now I can actually lend my hand to taking care of somebody else. Absolutely. And then you just apply that to your mental health. So before I can be the shoulder that she can cry on, I've had to have cried. On your own shoulder. On my own shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> like this? Yo, crying on your own shoulder is sick. Well, as a man, who the hell am I? Where else do we cry? I think it's cool. But what I do is okay. So what I do is I I put on movies that will get me going. Ugh. So the other day I was watching Friday Night Lights, <laughs> and I don't know what it was, but that shit had me going. My nigga, crying on your own shoulder is is a is a wild wild crying is okay. image in I my head. I saw a video today on Instagram of this like, like African American sensei telling this black your kid, tell, it's okay to cry. It's okay to cry." I'm not saying it's not okay Trump's, to cry. Trump has a six pack and biceps. <laughs> just his t- it actually the 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 muscle mass stops the tears from flowing up to the ducts, so they never fall down. It's it's, def- it's okay to cry, but it's just it's just, Desert it's just up there. it just looks crazy. Let something out to your own shoulder. <laughs> oh, crazy! Yo, take care of yourself, man. Talk to somebody. Talk to a professional. Ah. Um, and let it out. Absolutely, let it out. Face it. Uh, next up, take a break from your ex. More. You're probably used to talking to your ex as much or more than anyone else you know, but for the foreseeable future, you should shut off all communication with them. <laughs> cool with that. My nigga, what? It's no, no, the be- I didn't see it. I don't see it. There should be no commas or periods in, <laughs> in the sentence. Ex- put an exclamation point after that. I think it's good. Like, you don't want to. T- listen, we're not saying don't talk, do talk. If talk, take a break. That's what we're saying. Yeah, definitely take a break. You guys um, broke up for a reason. There was something there that didn't work out. Take some break from that. Figure it out. Get your thoughts. Because if the conversation continues, yeah, you know, people think things exist that don't exist, right? Like, you think, I'm still getting, I still have access to this person, so things must be good. Things must be sweet when they're not. And then on the on the flip side, the person that's always reaching out, you're like, hey, like I, I said things were over. Why are you consistently reaching out to me this way as if I as if you have access to me the way that you used to? So I think it's definitely good to take a break. Take the Absolutely. Break. Take the break. Um, no in certain points. situations you'll never talk to them again. And in certain situations you may have different conversations down the line and realize that, you know, you're both over the hurt that you cause each other and you're able to be cool about it. No problem. Which Go is crazy. cool too. Yeah. Uh spend quality time with friends and family. I think that's dope. I think along the lines of uh, that spending that alone time is, is is good to get around people that um, love you unconditionally. Right. Right. They remind you of who you are, how great you are. Mm-hmm. You know, they give you the good and the bad at all times, but who are the, like their energy, their presence. Listen, man, who you have in your life is so important. So that when you're in a friend in your friend circle, like they don't have to be necking you off every time, but like you can just be around an energy that makes you feel that's good, recharged yeah. and they're not revitalized. You know what I'm saying? They're not reminding you all the times of like this relationship that ended and how hurt you are. That's also a dope environment to be in. 
Um, and it's it's a big thing. Like when you break up with somebody or somebody breaks up with you, how do you fill that time? That time that you used to spend with them all the time. Yeah, like, man. It's, it, you got to learn it. You have to yeah. Learn it. So, but like also is why it's important to keep your relationships healthy all throughout. Your relationship should not change or alter too much so that when I am now broken up and single, I have no one to talk to because I've already curved my friends mm. for the people who, you know what I'm saying? It's a good point too. So, um, you it's know, for, for the girl who I now, I'm now sad over. So it's very important to, to, to have healthy relationships throughout and mm-hmm. maintain healthy relationships throughout your entire relationship so that when it's good, it's good and when it's bad, it's bad. But your anchor, your support system is still there. It's still intact. Absolutely. Use judgment. Figure um, it out. Last one. Look at the breakup as an opportunity. Uh, when you're down in the dumps trying to figure out what happened ap- right after a breakup is tough to see the silver linings. In reality, as much as a breakup constitutes an ending, it's also a beginning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely it's an beginning. opportunity, man. You look at Issa, you look at um, Lawrence. It's an opportunity it's an to get on. Uh, it's op- Stop it. To get on. <laughs> Stop. To get on Tinder stop. right before they're out the door and swipe, swipe, swipe. That's a wild, that's it, some wild shit. That's some nasty wild. shit. Right, 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 right before they leave. That's some nasty shit. If it's your girl, that's wild. If it's your, sl- if it's your slide, that's what you were gonna say. That's your slide. Never slide. I'm gonna use nine, 90s terminology. Your skeezer. Your skeezer. <laughs> skeezer. Listen, man, if it's like, it's not right. I don't, I don't condone any of those actions. Um. <laughs> <laughs> But what I will say is... The PC boys? <laughs> <laughs> I would just say, look at the opportunity. Look at the opportunity uh, for you to grow. Maybe you guys can work on things individually where you guys can come back. Dope. Or mm-hmm. maybe you guys can go scroll as things individually and take it to your next relationship. But either way, it's an opportunity. Absolutely. I'm going to tell you that story that I was going to tell offline. So I was dating somebody. You know this person. You know this person very well. Uh, and then things like <laughs> things ended with them. This is years ago. Just for like, no, nah, we here for posterity. We this moved on years ago. <laughs> we happy. This is over five years ago. We happy. Um, so I'm dating this person, and like things don't go well. Things are very like super super messy. Uh, I feel hurt. I feel used and abused. Uh, taken advantage of. Hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Led astray. Um, oh, he hit his land. So off. after the victim of the year over. <laughs> <laughs> Abuse it, abuse it. Abuse and abuse. Bam, bing, bam, 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 hoodwink, let us stray. Uh, so then after that, I was just in my bag of, you know, I don't want to spend time by myself. Like, I just want to get, like, the next thing as quick as possible. So I did that very, very quickly. And um, I had that. And I was with this person. And this person, you know, thought I was all about them and was totally over whatever old situation that I was a part of. And in the end, I actually ended up messing with that old situation and the new situation at the same time. Uh, okay, and that kind of... Okay, 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 okay. We're not, we're not celebrating that behavior we're not in 2020. That's, that's, oh, no, oh, that's, no, oh, no. <laughs> that's toxic. Yeah, um, so, so, yeah. yeah. They really got rid of that, huh? Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, they yeah, did. We, we used to get that old. <laughs> <laughs> yo, until y'all started saying, like, yo, this is toxic, stop doing it. We used to get it all. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, some thank some you, wild thank you shit. for bringing awareness to us. We didn't. Do know you want to go into the type of shit that we used to be able to get? Ah, uh, nah, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so um, avoid. Yeah, so to, to end that story, uh, turns out that the girl that I was, the new girl that I was seeing, like she was just really, really hurt. Yeah. Uh, by sucks. the fact that I wasn't over this old situation and was still revisiting it, and she just ended up really hurt by me. In any relationship. Any relationship, fling, long term, friends with benefits, whatever it is, just don't be selfish. Friends right? with benefits is still a thing? I don't know what's going on in the streets. Um, my name is Josh Cloud, and I'm in a very, <laughs> very happy relationship. And um, no, but seriously. Yeah. Like you need to, uh, I don't know what I was going to say. I didn't know friends with benefits was still a thing. Whatever situation you were in, <laughs> right? Thank you. Uh, friends with benefits. <laughs> I didn't. I, I don't know. People you gotta, still get you that gotta, off? You got to get out. Go on TikTok and just watch. Everything's there. People still get off friends with benefits? I think, I think that, I think, you know what? I think they swagged it out and dropped the with benefits and just, now they're just friends. Because... 
That, I think that's what it is. What the modern day friends with benefits is is a nigga that's having sex with a girl with no condom. Uh, she's cooking for him. Uh, she's taking care of him. She's not so fucking. His wife. With, she's not fucking with anybody so else. Wife. She's doing all these things, and he's still fucking other other chicks. And this is why. This is why. This is, that's. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Because my point is. And that's nasty. Don't be selfish. Okay. And then when don't the, be selfish because you're not the only one in this situation. There's somebody else's emotions attached to whatever this is going on, and we don't know what that, those emotions are. But just factor it in. We know what those emotions are. They're hurt. They're damaged. They've been am- they've been abused, bamboozled, hoodwinked, led astray. All of those. I just didn't know friends with benefits. I've I haven't heard anybody get off of friends with benefits in a minute. Cause they're just friends now. Who gets off friends with benefits? That's that was like that, that sounds was, so nasty. Do you know what in friends with benefits are? That was like 2012's way of like introducing like yo like. Making it okay. No, it's okay. Like we can. That's fuck. why you make a movie about it. Yeah, we can it. fuck with no strings attached. We can do that. But at the end of each movie, they end up together. <laughs> it, try, the poof is in the pudding. Watch the tape. <laughs> okay, it it doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. Somebody always. If y'all want to date, date. If y'all want to fuck, crazy. Fuck. But transparency is a thing. I don't know, man. Like you said, like I, I'm not out in these streets. Like I don't, I don't know what happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> we're both past thirty. I don't plan on re-entering or jumping back oh, into well, these streets not, at any I point in time. The streets, I have turned the corner. Streets can have, uh, streets can have all of y'all, all y'all niggas, all y'all chicks. Streets can have y'all. Yeah. Um, but that's the after show because my mind is going into a very nasty bag, and what it's. Nasty. I'm gonna say things that are gonna. Trevor is literally not, stuck on the fact that y'all still been, still giving up friends with benefits. Y'all giving up friends with. That's my friend with benefits. <laughs> that's just my friend with benefits. You can't say that a lot. Nah, it's no. okay. What, what does the nigga say? It's okay. That's, that's my shorty. That's my shorty. That's my shorty. Nah, the nigga don't say that's don't. He doesn't say shorty. Benny, he's like, yo, that's my shorty over there. That's, that's his it. too. And we, and mind, this is gonna because we can go on for days. Uh, listen, man, you're not the only one in situations. No, nah, but what's not? Let's it. Your friends with like your friends with benefits, like the like the chick. Like I said, the chick is giving it up. Like she's in a relationship, and the nigga is not. And then when she challenges that, he's like. Well, you knew what it was from the start. That when I knew which that when I, I knew what it was from the start is nasty. You knew what it was when you signed up. You knew, you knew what you signed up for. You knew what it was when you signed. But it was what's the other line? Now you want to start it up, Drake. Drake got some. <laughs> now you want to run it up, Drake got some shit. All right, we gotta go. We got, All right, no, y'all. Thank we you. We are this burning is, the midnight oil. This is a very long uh, after show. Just a long day for us in general. A long day on the set. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, peace out. Peace and love. Peace and love. Oh boy. <laughs>